Hey, can you fix my... What are you doing? I'm using my radar sense. You don't have a radar sense. You have a bucket on your head. You've been reading Daredevil comics, haven't you? Yes. What's up, YouTube? My name is Billy. Welcome back to the shop. I got kind of a nerdy project for today. I want to make the Nelson and Murdoch sign from the trailer Daredevil. Not the cardboard one. Yeah, that one right there. The one that Matt Murdoch's holding. He's holding the sign in his hands and it looks like it's made from resin, which is pretty common, especially for movie TV props. The signs are usually out of resin. I want to make one out of wood. So there's a couple things. When we look at this sign, there's a couple things to take from it. One of them is that the letters are raised up. Usually with wooden signs, a lot of them are engraved. The fact that it's raised adds a little bit of complexity to it. There also seems to be kind of a fancy Times New Roman font that's used. That's a little bit delicate, especially on those smaller letters. So we do risk some of those breaking. Also, it looks like the perimeter is raised up too. There's also a couple bolts on there. And then all the ray surfaces have a bronzing or um, shiny type of effect that's put on it, probably just to give it some character and some weathering. So that's something that I might consider doing too. Okay, so how do we make this wooden sign? Well, I could throw it in the CNC and let it do its thing, but one, I would find that boring. Two, I think even with the CNC and a really delicate bit, I still risk some of those smaller letters breaking off. So I don't think I wanna do that. Instead, I think I'm gonna to go to the laser cutter. Let the laser cutter do its thing, then I can get all the letters out and see how they look. Now, this project is not about you making a Nelson and Murdoch sign. It's about sign making in general and coming up with some unique ways or some techniques that we can apply to making signs. So since the letters seem to be the biggest pain in the butt, I'm gonna start there. I finally got all my letters cut out with the laser and these things are super delicate. There is no way I could have cut these out with a scroll saw or with the CNC, they would have just broke. Now, if you're gonna use a different tool, like if you didn't have a laser, then I would advise using a simpler font instead of the one that I chose or make it bigger. That way you can handle it on a saw a little bit better. And since there are some folks who've never used a laser before and think that there's no skill involved, we're gonna pretend that it took the 15 seconds that you saw and not all day long. Since there are so many little parts here, there's no way I'm gonna get these lined up the way that I want them without spending forever doing it. So what I'm thinking is, instead I'm gonna make a template, kind of like a kid's block thing, you know, they put the circle and the square into the shapes. Same thing, uh, just do it with the letters. So I'm gonna get a piece of uh, cardboard or hardboard or draft board or something board, cut out the same shape, make it a little bit bigger. That way I can put it down onto my sign and then glue the letters into place. I was able to knock out the shape block thingy pretty easy. So now it's time to actually make the sign. Now looking at the sign that's in Matt Murdock's hand from the show, you can see the Again, the letters are raised up, and that's the reason why we went with the cutout letters instead of engraving them, which would have been a lot easier. But also, the outside perimeter of the sign is raised up a bit. So I'm thinking the best way to do this is I will make it kind of like a box lid. So plane down a board and then house it in a wooden frame, and I'll cut a groove in that frame so that the board has a little bit of room for expansion and contraction. I'm gonna love you, baby. 
I've got my sign, I've got my template. I glued a couple little blocks on here just to make it easier to lift up after I put the letters on there. And I coated the whole thing in shellac so that the glue doesn't stick to it. I'm gonna drop that into place. Now it's time to glue on my letters. I'm gonna go really simple. I'm just gonna use some CA glue. The sign looks really good. I really like that raised letter effect, especially with the burnt letters with the laser because they're black and it just adds a little bit more uh, shadow to it. And then I added some fake bolts on here too, just to give it that look that matches uh, what it looked like in the show. So now it's time to apply finish. And with all these little nooks and crannies, this is the perfect thing to use a spray finish. So a spray shellac, spray lacquer is awesome, but it's winter time, I'm in Michigan. It's snowing outside. I don't want to spray in the house, so that's not an option. So instead, I'm going to go a wipe on varnish with this, and then I'll just use like a brush and try to get it all up in those areas. The sign looks really good. So now it's time to apply kind of a bronzy effect. And to do that, I'm just gonna use some paints. So I used some paints that I had lying around the house. So nothing fancy here, just some acrylics that I mixed up. You know, a little titanium white, a little lemon yellow, yellow ochre. I'm just gonna apply some of the paint to the higher areas of the sign. And it gives a little bit of contrast between the high relief and the low relief. And then I'll wipe off any of the extra with a paper towel. I love how this sign turned out. It looks fantastic. It looks like what I was picturing in my head. And I really like that pop of color that was added because it gives it that tarnished brass look that really sets it apart. I got to figure out where I'm going to put this in the shop. I got lots of space, but I also have lots of project ideas. The point in this video was not for you to make a Nelson and Murdoch sign. Now, if you did, we might be BFFs, but really this is about getting out of your comfort zone. And hopefully this video inspired you to 
get in your shop and make something a little bit different out of the norm. This was usually made out of resin. I made it out of wood. So think about something that you might be able to make, get in your shop and create it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did consider subscribing to the channel and send this video to somebody who might be interested in some daredevil stuff and to meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.